Oh, boys, when I tell you I just took the fattest nap, oh, it feels good. It feels very nice. Okay. Guys, we have a new SPC to check out today. Uh, it's going to be Angel Gomez. This card is from Lille. He's five foot six, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. To be fair, already meets the minimum criteria to be decent in this game. Um, the, the work rates is not really an issue. As long as he has stamina, yeah, 87, it's fine. It's no big deal there. Okay, so player traits. Oh, he actually has both of the shooting traits. Oh, that's good. That's good. Technical dribbler too, while being a short player at five foot six. Oh, this is actually not a poorly formatted card, especially with upgrades. Let's see here. Not that terribly formatted because what I'm thinking is as of right now, you give him a marksman. Dribbling. Uh, no, no, you give him a dead eye. Yeah, you give him a dead eye. He needs the massive shooting boost. Shooting boost definitely needs to be a thing. Passing also needs to be a thing. Dribbling, you're going to have to work with as it is, um, which is fine because he's got 90s while being short and lean while being five foot six. So center of gravity on this card should be really low. Maybe, maybe his shooting is crazy. Maybe. Um, defensive stats, he's got 85 for heading accuracy. Physical stats on 87 for stamina. Okay. Uh, to be fair, this card doesn't look that bad. Uh, with the upgrades, I don't like the March 17 thing, but I, it's because they're doing a bunch of cards. So when the promo is done, um, when the promo is done, that's when they get to start getting their upgrades pretty much. Uh, okay, so player makes three appearances in the next six games. I think he plays pretty often for them, to be honest. Uh, for Takis midfield players, achieves two goals and assists in the next six games. Could definitely be possible. Club wins one game in the next six, and then club avoids defeat in the, in the next six. Okay, so we'll be checking out the fixtures afterwards. Uh, let me go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, guys. Um, so this is the team we're going to be using him in. Um, we'll do 4 2 3 one, and we'll switch that like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's structured to stay central, get behind, stay forward, and we'll just try out the card that way. I might switch him to the side positions too to kind of test all like the finestra and stuff, but we'll see what types of uh, shooting animations we can get out of the card just from doing this type of stuff. So, yeah, let's go try him out. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Firing it towards goal. Ooh, would have been nice. Would have been nice. The general buildup was actually nice there. I liked it. Way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Moving it forward. I should have done an L when Alaska I would have created space for him already. On to Gomez. Ben Yedder. Intelligent threaded pass here. On a shot from miles out. That was actually still a good strike. That was on the weak foot too. Oh, he gets the touch off. Unlucky. This one they look menacing. Lionel Messi. Oh, this game's registration is horrible, man. I literally do a through ball there. He lets the ball go. Like, come on, man. And two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And he's through here. No. To be fair, the angle is facing away, so it's going to be less consistent for a good strike. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Can he find the right pass? Oh, I couldn't even, like, time the, the shooting there correctly. It was a little weird. Oh, we missed that one too. Yeah, listen, base card stats for shooting by default needs to be higher. Like that's that's a for sure. It's always like that with the cards. Eh? Even if you give them like a dead eye and stuff, like you just feel that part of the card every time, you know. Crossbar. Ah, we couldn't hit the target. There we go. Opportunity here. 
Oh, maybe a driven would have worked. Ah, oh, and I had him there too, man. That's unlucky. Tap shot. Okay, tap shot across goal next time. To be fair though, I mean Martinez is a good goalkeeper. A team of the year is pretty solid. I like him. Green time shot on the spot. No momentum. That was a direct. But we will get the deflection for it. Always a random FIFA thing. Oh, could you imagine if I scored that? Wow, that was a weird one. Oh, I literally hit that on the red. That's crazy. Really? Really? There you go. There you go. I put too much power on that? Seriously? There's no chance, man. I had to settle it first, EA. Nice try on the finesse. Not a high percentage strike in this game. Oh my god, like, uh Oh my goodness, man. Ah. Gotta work that angle with his left foot. Nice. There we go. The roof of the net, my friend. Well weighted pass. Good stuff, Angel. White time finesse. Still came off okay. Yeah, gotta work the uh, tap shot angle. Good finish. Worked a near post angle. Nice. Plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defense and leading the line today is Antonio Di Natale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Be a warning to opposing defenders. I would describe him as majestic when he's White time shot. Nice. Almost looks like Courtois lets me score that. It's weird. There! There! Come on! Good tap shot. Good tap shot. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Angel Gomez card. So definitely a card that needs upgrades, in my opinion. Um, you want upgrades in the shooting as well as the dribbling department, because with a card like this uh, now and as well as the future, you're probably going to have to give him a dead eye chemistry style because you have to improve his shooting capabilities as much as possible. I notice the base card stats of the card 
for the shooting department more than anything, all right? Obviously, if you get into decent strike angles, he'll be able to score those opportunities. But what it is is that it's just an inconsistency to it, right? When it's in the mid 80s area, even with the dead eye. So if they can upgrade it by a plus three at least, so that the shooting stats with the chemistry style is at least a little bit higher, it would definitely be very nice to work with because he has the right animation choices in certain situations. It's just the inconsistency of the lower base card stats for shooting, right? Uh, dribbling. I personally want that to be a little bit higher because with a card like this, my first instinct was to give him a marksman chemistry style because you guys know how the dribbling is in this game. Um, so marksman chemistry style would have boosted his reactions, ball control and dribbling. Problem is, is that you give him a shooting boost, but then the attacking positioning and stuff is on the lower side, right? So it's a type of card where it feels like you have to give him that dead eye uh, now and in the future because you want at the very least, a plus two for everything, right? If you get a plus two for everything and you put the pace in a decent area, the dribbling in a decent area, you work with the shooting traits that the card has and then lower passing, to be honest with you guys, for 55K, you can't go wrong. You know, you can't go wrong with a player who is English from the League One that plays for Lille that will offer you different types of links in your team for a card that's not too expensive. Because for me personally, I love the explosive players, right? Explosive players are my favorite. And from the general build up play, pass and go movement, he's going to be great at doing that even in the future on a dead eye. But he at least for the meta of this game right now, he at least needs two upgrades on this card, right? So if you think he's gonna get two upgrades and you wanna work with these types of links in the future, the medium medium is not really that big of an issue. I've found it to be perfectly fine, right? Especially if I'm using it in the side positions. Um, if I'm using this card in the future on the right-sided side, I wouldn't really care, right? Because the medium medium work rate is perfectly fine in those areas. So uh, for 55K, not a bad value SPC, but if he gets those two upgrades, the two upgrades will definitely be a very big deal. Uh, for how this card will generally generally perform in game so yeah okay so let's go ahead and check uh who they're going to be playing against right so it's leal after march 17 in the domestic league okay so after march 17 they play in, against toulouse lorient um angers montpellier guys against these teams they have the potential he has the potential of getting all of the upgrades if he gets all the upgrades, it's a sick card. Let me see here. Because during some points, points of the season, they have either come close, close to the six games mark of like being undefeated. So that, there's a possibility with that one, right? There's a possibility. Um, but on paper, the teams are not, not that crazy on paper. But obviously, when, I, when you play against... Uh, certain teams anything can happen right you can obviously lose these teams it doesn't really matter but yeah that's interesting let me see how often he plays right so leon game he was playing as a cam okay the lens game he was playing as a cam yeah so he's a consistent player too and what's interesting about him is that he did get some goals so the the uh the leon game he didn't get any goals and assists but the lens game also didn't get goals and assists. Let's see the breast game. Uh, the breast game he didn't play. Uh, PSG game. PSG game he started but no goals and assists. So that's going to be a random one too. But listen, he's got the potential. He's facing quote-unquote on paper lower quality teams. So there's a lot of potential for him to get some very nice upgrades and for him to be a really nice card at 55k. So just food for thought for the future, because like I said, guys, he has both of the traits. Movement's not bad on the medium. Medium, it's perfectly fine. There's a lot of potential to work with. He just needs the base card stats to be improved at least twice for that to be uh, really worth using in a team for what the game is now, right? So, uh, yeah, not a bad SPC. Like I said, I like the value of it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.